Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take um, a character that has both armature animation and shape key animation and bring those animations on your character into Unreal Engine. It's uh, not that hard of a process. It does take some time, but not too bad. Um, so you select on your character's uh, skin. You go to Object, and you have to bake out um, the animation on the object. So you go animation, bake, and then object is good for the skin. And then you just make sure it's the frames you want baked out and hit OK. Baking takes a minute or two, so you know there's some waiting involved in that. In the armature, you do the same thing. You basically go to object with the armature selected, and then you go to animation, bake, and this time you want to do pose, and then hit OK. Um, so once you have the two of those baked out, you basically just select your uh, character armature, and I like selecting everything that has to do with them, really. And then going to File, Export, FBX, Selected Objects, uh, turn off apply modifiers. Uh, see, it says warning preventing exporting of shape keys. Uh, shape keys is what's doing the facial animation, so we need to keep those. So we have to have that off. Turn off leaf bones. Export. Um, copy this. So Control C. Um, then in Unreal Engine, what you have to do to bring him in is you go. Let's go ahead and make a new folder, import, control V, and we're going to select the character that we just exported, which I think it's that one. And I'm just going to go up the settings real quick, and then it's essentially imported. Okay, so Skeletal Mesh, um, we want to make sure that morph, morph targets are imported. We want to make sure that animation time and animation imports on. Um, those are the essential settings. Um, if you want to be extra safe, you can just do what I did with other settings, what's checked on, what's checked off, but you may not need to do all that. And then do import. That'll take a couple minutes. Um, so then once you're there, in order to see your animation working, you need to open up a sequencer. If you don't know how to do that, you go to cinematics, you add a level sequencer, this pops up, then you add a track, uh, then you select your character, add a track, and then up above the search bar, There'll be an option to make a track based upon him. I already have one here. And then here you go click animation. And then you have your animation here. And it works. Um, the animation you have to select. The, oh, OK. So the animation, um, I'll just show you one more thing related to that. Um, to figure out which of these is the animation because there's so many that come in I'm not sure why you go to your character skeletal mesh which in case this case is mine here and then you go to animation and you find the one that has the animation from what I've been seeing it's the one with the shortest name usually and it usually has a word like actions um, so then you single click that then right click that then copy the name, then you go back to the sequencer, you go to animation, um, add track, animation, control V, and then the top one's the right one. So then you click on that and you get this. Um, I like leaving a T pose at the beginning simply because if you have any um, clothing you want to fit to the mesh, um, it's easier to get it on mesh, and then you can chop out the beginning later. 
but he's talking, he's walking. Uh, next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get textures onto him. And from there, I'm going to show you uh, how to get the dynamic groom hair on him. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I'll do a more in-depth version of this tutorial at some point in the future.